everybody, Vince and Marianne back for another episode of Vince and Mary Cook Italian. Yum, I'm ready. Um, so it is Sunday afternoon. It's a little chilly and nasty out. It's cloudy. And we really just wanted to make something really quick, um, put it in the oven and forget about it kind of dish until it's done. And then we can sit and relax for the rest of the afternoon and maybe watch a movie or something with our, our sweet babies. And a glass so, of wine. And a glass of wine. Yes. And a glass of wine. So today we're just going to do a simple baked chicken, put a little bit of Italian season on it, seasoning on it, which yeah, makes it Italian. And uh, we're going to show you how simple this is. I have the oven um, preheating at 375. I'm going to start it off at 375. And then once it cooks for about 45 minutes, I will... Um, Probably pop it up to about 425 just to get the chicken skin really. I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, you ready, Bubba? But I like it, Chris, though. She's always thinking of me. I know. You ready, Bubba? Yep. Mm. Mwah. To everybody. Here we go. We just got done church, so <laughs> church and to cooking. Church and cooking relaxation, which is what Sundays are meant to be. So what we have here are, mm. these are three chicken legs and thighs. Um, you can use just legs, just thighs, you can use breasts, you can use a whole chicken cut up. Yeah. Um, you could yeah, probably chicken. use chicken breasts with skinless, but it's not gonna be as tasty because honestly, it's the it's the, it's the skin, fat, the fat that's the in the skin that yeah. makes it taste really good. Yeah. I like the legs and thighs. Also, I like the dark meat for this because it really, they're tender and they're juicy and it just makes the whole dish um, taste better. I think it does. The other thing we have is two pounds of small white potatoes that I just cut in half. A <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's a sweet onion. It's a small one. Meat small to medium. It's not a large one. Just yep. sliced. This is four carrots. Um cut into about uh, one to two inch pieces. I won't and drop if we that. if we haven't eaten them all. Then I have two cups of chicken stock. I might not use it all, but I have it just in case. Of course, our extra virgin olive oil because we don't make any dish without it. I have some salt, pepper, Italian seasoning. This is an organic olive oil spray, but you really don't have to spray the pan at on at all. I like to spray mm -hmm. it just because it helps keep things from sticking mm -hmm. and it makes cleanup easier. Um, but you don't have to use the organic olive oil spray. You can use no spray, you can use your regular spray, whatever makes you happy. And then I just have some butter to top it all off. So you're going to see how easy this is to put together. And there they go. Go get them, killer. Okay. Neighbors outside. Give them a second to calm down. They're good. Okay, so all I'm going to do is spray. I just have a baking dish. This is like a 9 by 13 or whatever baking dish. Yep. I just spray it. Mm, the olive oil smells good already. And the next thing I'm going to do is just put, down, put in the uh, potatoes, the onions, and the carrots. So just mm -hmm. dump them in. Dump. It's all. It's all about the dump. Okay. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, seriously, stop eating the food. The onions and the carrots. Okay. And then I'm just going to mix them together. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle these with about hmm, I'm going to say half a tablespoon of salt. Just sprinkle a half tablespoon of salt. That might even be a lot. We add salt because we don't normally use salt. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put some black pepper, just sprinkle it around. Mm. You don't have fresh the fresh cracked black pepper, that's okay. Just use your regular black pepper. Ooh, you can smell that boy. Mm -hmm. Just sprinkle a little bit of the Italian seasoning. Probably about a tablespoon of olive oil down there for. Good. And then, can you grab me a spoon, please? Thank you. I'm just going to mix these all together. Just want to make sure that they're, the seasoning is. Oh, the water. We're going to shut the Smell the seasonings, mm -hmm. that's for sure. It smells really good for something so simple. Okay, then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the chicken stock and I'm gonna pour it on top. I like to have the potatoes and the carrots and the onions almost completely covered in the stock 
just tastes really good and a lot of it will cook off. Uh, Quarter. This is about, I used about a cup and a half. Yeah. Okay, all right. Then all I'm gonna do is take my chicken legs and thighs and stick them on top. This is a small one, I'll put the small one in the middle. Mm. These are huge, so. Yeah, they're like a quarter pound each. I don't know. Oh, they're more than. Are you kidding me? I think they're way more than a quarter pound each. Okay, I need to wash my hands. Never touch raw meat without washing your hands. And then the next thing I'm going to do is butter. no, not oh, butter. Salt I'm going to use and now about another about a half tablespoon of salt. Mm, not even. Mm -hmm. I'd say that was a teaspoon of salt. Most. <laughs> more black pepper. Mm. Italian seasoning. A little paisano. Oh, look at that. Mm. I love the smell of that. It smells so good. I thought this one. This is a 10 year old would do this dish. It's so simple. And then a little bit of olive oil, spread drizzled on top. That helps get that skin a little darker. Right. And then I'm going to finish it off with some butter. In my life. Yes, please. Okay, so just take small pats of butter. Small, not ton, a ton. What's that, babe? Put them on for you. Go ahead, babe. Three on each. Mm. Just put the tip on here so I don't touch the dish with the chicken. One, two. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just saying one more tonight. It was poke me in my eye. That would not have been good. That would not have been good to poke him in the eye. Technical tonight. difficulties. We'll you be right said, back. And you said a 10 year old can make the dish. I don't know. That would be a little scary. Yeah, but okay, so ooh, that's ooh. it. That is it. I'm gonna cover this with tin foil. I have to get the tin foil. I even meant to get it out. Okay, I'm gonna cover this with tin foil. <clears throat> Don't do it too, too tight. Kind of like this. Oh, nice grip. Oops, it's okay. It'll be fine. It'll let some of the steam. Ex That's where your cook off will occur. Okay, this is going in the oven at 375 degrees. I'm gonna just let it stay in there for 45 minutes. Let it sit, not even look at it. After 45 minutes, I will go in and take. Oh. That's 45 minutes. <laughs> After 45 I'm sorry, minutes. Sorry, I shouldn't dance. You're gonna get okay. sick. <laughs> After 45. <laughs> oh yeah, we're having a day. After 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, I will take the tin foil off. I'll see how it's cooking. It should be almost done at that point. And then um, I usually will let it just cook for about 15 more minutes at the 375. See how uh, crisp the chicken skin is getting. Mm. I want to let it cook until that skin is crispy, crispy brown. Yeah. Um, so if at the end I decide to pop it up to 425, we'll see. I let, The last time I did it, I did. So That was great. It was great. Right? Yep. And it's delicious. It's so good. You also can do this. Instead of potatoes, leave the potatoes out and make some rice. Yeah. That would be delicious to just do the carrots and the onions in that in that broth. Um, and use that to mix we, with yeah, the rice. We do that would be delicious. Wine. Or some quinoa, um, some some egg noodles. Whatever I mean, there's twist. just so many things you could do with this. Yeah, whatever but the basic want, yeah. start is just the olive oil, the seasonings, the onions and carrots, and the chicken. So all right, pop that in the oven for me, Bubba. Can't wait to have some. Mm, it's Woo. gonna be a good, simple dinner. Might make a salad, I might do some asparagus, just something simple on the side. I agree. But um, it is, let's I'm see. Sorry. Oh, sorry. It is, it's 10 minutes to two. Yep. We'll be back when it's all done and we'll let you know how we finished it up. It's gonna be good. Okay. Damn it. Okay, hey everybody, we are back. And this actually wound up taking a little bit longer than I expected. Um, I think because the lights and thighs were just large. Mm -hmm. And I have done it before with just pieces of thighs or legs, um, but broken up. And but it's it's perfect. Um, Vince, Bubba, can you take this a bit closer so you can show it to them? It smells delicious. The chicken is nice and browned. Yes, I can. <laughs> you can put that there. Look at how this turned out. Okay, so look how beautiful it looks. It's absolutely perfect. So this is what we did. What about the juices, hon? Okay, put it back down. You got it, Mom. And we'll tell So what I did was, the last time before we cut off, 
Um, I had covered th this in tin foil and I popped it in the oven at 375. I left it in for 45 minutes and then I took the tin foil off. It was cooking well, but it had a ways to go. Yeah. So I left it at 375 and I cooked it for another 30 minutes. That's so perfect. that would have been an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. I checked it at an hour and 15. Um, still was progressing the internal temperature of the chicken, although the juices were, were running clear, the internal temperature, and I always check the internal temperature. If you do not have a meat thermometer, get one, but it was only at 140, 145, and I always wanted to get to at least 165. So I left it for another 15 minutes at 375, and then I popped it up to 425 for an additional 30 minutes so it took an exactly two hours i think that all adds up correctly um it smells really good we're gonna try it right now actually because we're anxious to Take eat the middle it piece, the middle one. so this is something you're just you're gonna have to watch because the set depending on the size of the pieces of chicken you cook could take more or less time um i can tell you that i've already tasted the potatoes and the carrots and boy oh boy do they taste good not me. I can't wait to try. Yeah, he's already been picking. I made some rice, chicken and rice for the dogs, and he's been eating that. So let's... With the juices, though. Oh with the God. juices. <laughs> the juices are unbelievable. Thanks, babe. Bubba, be careful. It is very steamy hot. I'll wait for you. Cut a piece off. That skin looks really, really good. <sighs> so I'm going to get a piece of the chicken. Yep. A little thing in a bang piece in a of bun. the carrot. A piece of the potato. Please do not put that in your mouth immediately without pulling it off a little bit. I've never experienced that before. Mm-hmm. Gosh, it smells so good, though. Mm. It is perfect. The carrot's perfect. Potato's good. Oh, the chicken's perfect. The seasoning on the chicken Hi. and the chicken skin, both, are are great. I mean, and it's they, they, they complement each other. Yeah. Pepper, Italian seasoning, some olive oil, some butter. It's perfect. So yep. you can't get it any easier than this was. You need to give yourself enough time, depending on the pieces of the chicken. You could, I could have cooked it quicker. I could have bumped up the four, the temperature to four twenty five sooner. But you don't get could have done it. Flavors. But it's the flavors that matter. So we're happy. I'm always happy. Well, we don't have our, our glasses of wine, but we've been sitting and enjoying a very old movie while this cooked, and we're going to get back to finishing it. So, Bella? Vince Marianne, Cook Italian, thanks again for joining us on another journey here. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. And give us a like. Please give us a like. And share the and video share. if you like it. And have a wonderful and blessed week. Yep, amen, baby. Shindan. Mm -hmm.